Hi, I'm Eric from Hughes and in this short video I will explain how you can integrate, how you can connect the automator with a Qs rundown. So it all starts in the in the, in the Qs platform. So here on top, uh, when you have a rundown open, you can find a link to the automator to set up the automator. Uh, first, let's start with downloading uh, the automator. And there's a page where you can always find the latest version of uh, the automator. I will move that over to our Vimix machine. Um, hello, Vimix machine. And um, let me paste this link and download the automator for Windows as I'm installing it on a Vimix machine. Once installed, it will open itself and you will see it's a small application that is running that you can hide um, and where you can find the address where you can navigate to to do the configuration and to uh, run the automator. So I navigate it from my local computer. Um, first, the first thing the, um, the automator needs to know is its name. So mostly you, the name you give is um, the studio where you invite, uh, um, is the studio where you install it in. Um, imagine you have two studios and you have one automator running in studio one and one in two, for example. Um, one automator can only run, run one rundown. So if you want to do sh two shows simultaneously, then you need to have two uh, automators. That's a bit the idea. So I will call this studio one. Um, so that's that's its name. And then I need to pair it with a certain project. So uh, let's move over back to our um, to our Qs project. There's two available connections that I can make. I will copy the key of one of these connections and move over to the automator again, paste the key and submit. And, as, and then you will see that um, it becomes paired in the, the Qs platform. And then you're sure that uh, the automator is able to exchange content with, uh, with the platform. So in this project, there's only one uh, rundown, the one I just showed you, Let, let's open it. This is actually the initial view that you have on a kind of playlist if you want. So the automator is a kind of playlist of all the, the Q blocks there are in a Q's rundown. On the side you can see the, the rundown itself and you can use it to, to navigate to a certain part of, uh, of the show. Uh, here on top you can see all the connected devices. There is nothing connected at the moment. But let's just add the Vimix device that I have um, um, that I have installed here in, uh, in our office. I call it um, I just call it Vimix. Short name because it it's, uh, pops up a lot of times in the automation. If it's a long name, then it's a bit uh, annoying to have uh, such a, a waste of space. So uh, it is on my local host. Um, this is already pre-filled. So for every device you connect um, to the Qs automator, we already know what port it will be listening on. So it's very easy to set up. It's, you see it's already connected. Next thing it needs to know is where it needs to download all the media files on this computer. So a bit lower, I can find where the automator should download the files to the, um, to the Vmix device. So that will be in a kind of temporary folder where all the media will be stored. We don't never need to be there. Um, it's just a place where uh, the automator temporarily stores these files. Uh, when they when it downloads it from the from the rundown this is the part where vmix will find the files sometimes you have the automator connected on a different device and then there's a, a path from the viewpoint of the v, vmix and a path of the viewpoint from uh, the automator um, so downloading is enabled you can even garbage collect uh, files that are older than 24 hours or older older than a week so you can keep your vmix very nice and tidy and then um, you need to select what media types you want to download in the automator. So I want to download all the clips. And then you need to select the content you want to download from the queue blocks in the queues project. So for example, I want to have all the clips because I want to start them from vMix. And I also want to download all the graphics automatically. As you can see, automatically uh, the stuff that I have in my uh, rundown is already uh, downloaded. That's nice. So um, media is already on the vMix. Uh, if somebody adds a new clip or new graphic, it automatically is downloaded to the vMix since I have this rundown open. And then I can maybe just for, uh, for a small demo show you how to trigger this graphic on my vMix device. So I go into configuration of, uh, of the graphic. Um, and then um, so that this one means on queue that whenever a user clicks this graphic, then we need to execute something. So um, what we'll do is on vmix, you probably recognize the typical vmix commands. I upload the image, I, I send the image to a certain template. So the template, the, the image is coming from uh, this graphic. So that's the media field of that graphic. And I will send it to um, a still input that I have on vmix. And it, I will send it to the image source and like that. I already have the image sent if I would click it, but let's also cut it live. So vmix, um, cut direct, and I will put uh, input 11, the still um, to go there. And let's just add a small delay because vmix might have some issues. 
uh, Vmix needs a bit of time to um, get the image in there. So when I click this and I move over to Vmix, um, my Vmix is here, you will see that the image is already uh, in here. Uh, it's so simple as that. So this is the first small thing, uh, just sending a Vmix to a certain template in Vmix. So that was just a brief introduction about how to connect Vmix to uh, the Qs application. If you want more information, you can always find more information in the help desk on the button at the bottom right of the platform. Thank you. Goodbye.